to the Most High God be glory and praise for another year. This time last year, we cried to God. We began with the beginner. A time of prayer. We need to be hungry for prayers. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 4, the Bible says, And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Now Nehemiah had to pray for anything to happen. Nehemiah began with prayers. We are challenged this year to again begin with prayers. For seven days, Jonathan Edwards prayed and fasted in the cellar of his home, crying out to God, Lord, give me New England. Jonathan Edwards, through prayers, did turn New England upside down. Your ability, your talent, your influence or connections or even finance will not do the job without involving God. It is our year of reconciliation, reconciling the world to Christ through the power of the Holy Ghost. We need to engage heaven more than ever before. But it's going to happen when we, keep, when we get desperate to pray and pray desperately. We have to get to that stage where Jonathan Edwards cried, give me souls or take my life. If somebody could be moved to prayer, then God is moved to respond. When our prayers move God, God moves our, our, the mountain before us. God steps into our situation. It's time to go all out this year into the world and begin to proclaim the gospel. That is the challenge before us, to reconcile the world to Christ. A lot of work have gone into the materials that is placed on the internet. Please take time, visit the internet, read and engage in prayers. From the month of January 8th to 28th, every one of us, the global church, let us all engage heaven together and heaven will surely respond more than ever before. God bless you.